from the Adafruit Vault. Uh, don't ask, it's not out yet. Um, you can load up your questions over in Discord. Yeah, if you want get for your the questions end. in. Um, first up, we showed a preview of this. It's on our YouTube channel. It is the M4 Halloween. Yes. Next up, we have the Circuit Play Playground Blue Fruit coming out, and we also, also have a uh, little preview of the app. We're going to make a, the the simplest, most powerful app that works with Circuit Playground, Circuit Playground. Express. Blue fruit. Except you got some stemmas. This is a stemma board, a mini GPS that you're working yeah, on. Yeah, so the company that I get GPS modules from was like, we made a GPS that's so small. So this is only a one inch by one inch board, but it has an I squared C GPS in the center and then a battery on the back. So I think it could be good for little wearable GPS projects. It's not going to be as amazing as the ultimate GPS module, but it'll be pretty good. All right, and then you have a bunch of stemma boards that aren't out yet. Well, these just came in, so this. I thought I would show off. That looks secure, because there's a lock on it. So, you know, we kind of decided on one inch by 0.7 inches, so these are actually all the same size and the same mounting hole, so you can see they all line up, but they're all different PCBs. So this is the ATECC 608 uh, cryptographic processor. This is the DS1302 digital potentiometer, and you can see I'm adding those uh, stemma QT quick compatible connectors. This is Katni designed this board, so you can see her signature. The VCNL 4040, which we've, we've actually had this for quite a while, but we redesigned it to add this stemma connector. Um, so that's coming soon. And the MSA301, we did a little video about this, I think a weekend and a half ago. Ultra low cost, triple axis accelerometer, also really small. Uh, but this accelerometer is only like 25 cents or so. Okay. So some then upcoming boards. we have a gigantic pipe portal mega and a tiny pipe portal the tiny Small. one's called pint yes the big one we haven't decided what we're going to call it yet in the in the newsletter i put in a bunch of the names that we were thinking of this is a 3.5 inch yeah. 320 by 240 display it's actually not that much bigger than the current pipe portal because the current pipe portal is 3.2 inches so this is a little bigger but it's not much bigger but it's twice the resolution okay so that 8-bit interface is going to really help you. Next up, we had Pete Warden on our show last week. It was all about machine learning. And then uh, we debuted the name for one of our products, which is called BrainCraft. And then you designed a hat. Started. And this is the, the name of it. It's the BrainCraft hat. What is this going to be? So this is going to be a hat for doing machine learning on Raspberry Pi and single board computers that have Raspberry Pi, um, like in, you know the 2x20 connector. So it's going to be for audio and visual projects. So there's a slot for the camera, because all these boards have camera. Uh, there's a speaker amplifier, micro, left and right microphone. There's a little selector, five-way select button, joystick, and a button. There's an on-off switch, so you can definitely turn off the microphone. So when it's off, it's like definitely the mics are disconnected. Like there's no way that it's listening. So it'll, go like, it'll disconnect the power switch from the microphones. Uh, three dot star LEDs for like indicator, headphone jack, and then um, brackets for all the GPIO and then some stemma connectors as well. And in the middle, a little a 240 by 240 inch TFT. So when you're doing visual inference, you're not gonna get like a huge display, but you'll, let, you'll get some feedback telling you what it's found. Okay, back in the vault. All right, well, I hope you've headed over to Discord because we're gonna start answering some of your questions. Yeah.